Hey guys, so I'm just gonna do like a quick vlog with you. I know I haven't been filming. I've been busy as hell and tired and exhausted. So yesterday I went to um, a holiday party. It's my fiance's company's party and I got super messed up, like super messed up. Well, it wasn't to the point where I was doing like ridiculous things, but I was throwing up and I hardly remember what happened yesterday okay the thing about me is i don't go out much like a year i'll probably go out let's say and party i don't know like a good five times out of a year like honestly i do not party like i don't at all but anyways yes yeah, so i got messed up and i was in like bed rest for the rest of the day um i think we got back at like 11 p.m which is like super early because back then i would party until i don't know like freaking you know two or three and now like that i'm like 27 i feel like i can't party like how i used to party so that's why i don't party anymore um but the whole point of this vlog is actually for me to show you my skincare routine and what i do at night and what i just showered and i washed my face and i haven't put any sun not sunscreen i haven't put any um skincare on so i wanted to show you like the products i use and like at night it like it rotates i have multiple products but it rotates i don't use them like every day you know some products i would use today and then different products tomorrow but yeah i'm talking too much let me show you the products and then i'm just gonna quickly do my skincare with you okay and excuse the hair it's a mess used for my um face wash today uh, was the Aveeno I think it's restore and calm it there's no fragrance and it's for sensitive skin and as you can see I have like a lot of acne acne prone skin so it tends it's well what it said on there was it really helps with acne prone skin like there's no oil buildup or anything so I wanted to give it a try it's a new product um the one that I usually wash my face with every day is um this one it's kale green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser by youth to the people as you can see i'm like almost out of it i really like this stuff like it really really cleanses like my pores and everything so and it gives me like such a refreshing um feeling after i use it so i always use this but it does dry out my skin so i use it once a day i usually have like let's say oil to combination skin now that i'm older my skin's kind of on the drier side and it's been like extremely cold um where i am so this is not so good right now for me but i've been using this for like several months almost a year and i really i honestly really like it i like face washes that like give you a really nice like foam clean feeling so yeah i will probably talk about this again in my empties videos coming up so after cleansing my face the first thing i use is the medelic acid uh, and superfood unity exfoliant it's used to the people again the same brand as the face wash i just showed you i really like this brand i think it's very natural and really easy going on my very sensitive skin so and this one is like it's interesting it just came out um it's like an exfoliant to slash toner that you can use every day and it's good for acne skin and it's supposedly a gentle solution it's three percent aha and two percent bha and one percent pha so yeah i really like it this is what i use so sometimes i use like a cloth pad for it you know general face cloth or i'll just like put it on my hand which i like it more is because so then this doesn't soak up all the product because i feel like when you use this it soaks up more of the solution than when you directly put it on your hands and put it on your face do you know what i'm saying because i don't know i feel like this absorbs all the liquid that should actually be going on my face so i usually just put a few drops of this on and then i'll rub it like this and then i'll pat it on my face just like that and then after that um 
I let it sit for, I don't know, like a few seconds. I'd say like 15 seconds. And then I'm actually trying this new one. It's the, it's from Hero. Hero, you can find this. It's actually a drugstore product. You can find this at Target, I believe. They recently launched it. Um, I have the Hero sunscreen, which I really like. I'll show you in another video, maybe like a get ready video with me or something. But I've been trying this Hero um, lighting, lightning wand. Um, it's for dark spot brightening serum. So I usually do use it like on my acne. Like I just rub it on my acne because I have a lot of acne scars. I just like rub it on there. So I've only been using this for I think two weeks so I don't know how it is really I think two weeks is too short for you to know like a difference so I'm gonna give it about like a solid month to see you know if it really did any different but so far I don't really see a difference <clears throat> and I believe this is so this is their small bottle this is ten dollars which is pretty expensive for something so small but again I heard Hero is a very good brand it's very natural and there's like no really bad ingredients or chemicals so maybe that's why it's more expensive but I don't know if it doesn't do any of what you expect it to do paying that much is honestly very expensive for something so little and then after that I like to go in with my Shiseido Benefiance. I don't even know how to say that. Um, it's a wrinkle resistant of 24 balance softener. I love the smell of this. Honestly, I don't know if it really helps with the wrinkles, but I really like the smell. So I just constantly use it. My mom actually gave me two bottles. So I kind of want to use it up to even if it doesn't work because I really like the smell of this. So... And she's used Shiseido like my whole life now that I remember. And let me put this on my face. And um, yes, I just rub this one into my skin. I just put some on like earlier. The other one I patted. And this one I pretty much just rub all over my skin like a face moisturizer. But yeah, this one smells so good. I don't know. It just smells so good to me. My mom stopped using it because she said she thinks she's getting older and it doesn't benefit her anymore or she doesn't see a difference. So she went up and got super bougie and now she uses like SK2 and Lummer. There you go. I'm trying to get to that level, but you know, that's experience. Paula's Choice Exfoliant. I think this this is the same as this but this is more gentle on the skin this one i cannot use every day like this one it hurts like i can use it like once or twice a week but if i use it every day it dries the hell out of my skin and it start like my skin starts to crack people said this is really 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 good for um acne prone skin I wouldn't say it's not good um, when I first used it for the first month it seemed like it was doing really well like I would have tiny breakouts not as much as how I usually do but then as I started using this more and more um, my skin started getting extremely dry so I kind of started using it less a lot less than how I used to so this one I probably only use once a week now but this one I try to like use like every day or so but I definitely use this more than this now um, also this smells I don't know it maybe it's just to me but this dead ass smells like nail polish remover like it is so hard to smell even like when it's on my face, I'm like, oh my god, like it smells so bad. It's like literally either like a mixture of rubbing alcohol and um, nail polish remover like, right on your face. Like that's exactly what it smells like. It's so hard for me. Um, 
Oh, and then for my moisturizing lotion, I've been trying this out, CeraVe. I've been making sure, because I know that I'm not good with um, Cetaphil. Cetaphil actually breaks the crap out of my skin. And I thought that this would be the same, but actually CeraVe is way, way more gentle on Ceta than Cetaphil. Or at least for me, um, this one works way better than Cetaphil for me. So I use this at night. Um, it's just a daily moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin moisturizers moisturizes and help restore the protection uh, skin barrier with three essential ceramide ceramides ceramides I don't know and hyaluronic acid yeah so I got the small bottle because I wanted to try it out first see if I like it and if it breaks me out so therefore I don't have to you know keep using a gigantic bottle knowing that um it would break me out because back then Cetaphil I would only um they would only come in gigantic bottles and when I bought it you know it's just a waste a waste of money and a waste of product that I feel like you know because when you put something on your skin and it doesn't work out why do you want to keep using it, right? And for drugstore items, I, you can't like return it. Like how Sephora, if you have like allergic reaction or something, you bring it back to Sephora and they'll, you know, refund your money or you can have an exchange, which is rare for me. I hardly ever return anything from Sephora, but when I try like the cheaper route for drugstore items, it, it, it hardly ever works out for me. But this one really works. This. And Aveeno, Aveeno I've been using like my whole life. I really like Aveeno. But yeah, so after that, I would just pump just a little bit. And again, I just rub it in. Next step is the another one, a CeraVe. Um, it's an eye cream repair. Um, it's for my dark circles. And it's for like the dryness around my circle. Look, the dryness around, I think I'm still drunk the dryness around my eyes oh my god i make things more complicated than they are after this i would put pimple patches on um if i have like new grown pimples but as of right now it's just like pimples that already popped or just um pimples that are healing so i don't have any new pimples because if i do i would feel it um so the last step is my lips and I have two products again sometimes I used this one for my lips it's the Laneige um, Laneige lip treatment balm I really like it it smells good and it moisturizes my lip really well so I use this sometimes at night <clears throat> but my holy grail lip product is the Palmer's cocoa butter formula with vitamin E it's it's like so inexpensive like I think I paid I don't know I think this is like three dollars now but it used to be like 199 and it's huge like it's gigantic it, it's like the size of a glue stick and I really like it but it's so funny because every time I put this on my fiance is like dude like your lip balm is fucking huge and I'm like yeah I know that's why I only buy it like once every 10 years you know because it's so big it lasts me like a whole lifetime yes yeah, so I use this one recently I've just went back to this one ever since I bought a new one because so I have like four of these I have one in the living room I carry one on my purse um I have one in the bathroom so when I'm done showering it's already there I don't have to like look for them but yeah all four tubes are gonna last me like my entire life honestly so this honestly everything that i showed you for my skincare go grab this oh and then sometimes you see like different days i guess what i feel like using is i'ma use it that's why i have so many products um another one is this clarence one um it's a toner but they call it like a toning lotion it's a lot thicker than just a toner so yeah that's i guess that's why they call it a toning lotion but i use the extra comfort toning lotion with aloe vera it's alcohol free it's for dry and sensitive skin again i have very sensitive skin and recently my skin has been dry so i've been catering to this more i used this two days ago i mean for the past two days so that's why i wanted to switch it up and use the other stuff that i have but this one works really good if you have sensitive skin this is a must. This is really, really good. 
so that is it for like my skincare routine now you know what i use like at night i'll make a video where it's like a get ready with me where i show you my daytime um skincare and what i wake up what i do i'll show you that in another video but um so since we're here actually i wanted to show you a few things so one i actually picked up a really really inexpensive and really cute gift for my dad um it's really meaningful well it's going to be really meaningful for him i got it from for christmas it's from a etsy seller um he creates uh well i think it's a husband and a wife they create like really really nice jewelry and uh it's called forever my and all their jewelry i believe is customizable with like names and whatever you want but it came home i paid i think 200 for this so it's 18k um the material i think they have sterling silver if you like um solid gold if you like and um gold silver dipped in gold and that's what i got for my dad i got 18k vermil dipped in sterling silver and i got him a bracelet it's really cute let me show you it's right here i don't know if you can see so cute and that's like the chain like super cute and shiny so as i showed you it says um lucky fam on the bracelet it's actually um my childhood dog um basically it was my first dog ever it's my family dog uh his name was lucky he died um last year yeah he died last year so you know it was really hard because he was in our life for 11 years and we pretty much grew up with him he was like technically my brother literally not a dog like my brother um my mom of course was devastated so i purchased her a bracelet as well just like him from georgiana yeah georgiana that brand um they have customized bracelets which is really nice so i decided to purchase that for um my mom to make her happy of course and when i did it was actually i gave it to her early because her birthday's in november and then there's december which is christmas so i did tell her that it's her birthday gift slash christmas gift but i do have more things for her for christmas of course but uh, when i gave it to her she was actually really emotional um but it's nice is because she has a piece of lucky like forever with her you know and now like I'm able to like get my dad a matching one too so i think it's gonna make him really really happy so i hope it will which i know it will because my dad is like so easygoing like anything makes him happy honestly anything and what he cares most is about food honestly like i'll just buy him i usually just like buy him like expensive seafood and then it just makes his entire day you know like it makes his whole month that's all he ever wants is good food i can link it down below for you and i think they gave me a coupon code for 15 percent off which is really good deal i mean and you don't have to get it for your dad obviously you can get it for your man you, know, you can get it for your brother you can get it for yourself you know it doesn't matter so today i went to go see my mom because she wanted to give me one of the early christmas gifts that she got for me and i told her why don't we just wait till christmas because it's so early but the thing with my mom is she always wants to give like <clears throat> us our gifts early like that's my whole life she we always had christmas trees and stuff but kind of no presents is because she like we would have it there but we would always open them early like it, it was so bad but you know it's exciting i guess for my mom she just can't hold on to the surprise so i'm just gonna open it she got me something from chanel um she told me it's new um i i don't really buy chanel to be honest like all the chanel perfumes and items that i have is actually from my mom um she's so sweet she always waits till like my birthday or something and then buys me it i don't know but i honestly don't really buy like very expensive things anymore at least before i used to but now i realize you know i just want to hustle and save money for like 
bigger things in life i don't really need all this you know like all this expensive stuff anymore before i was young you know and i wanted to keep up with society keep up with the trend and you know be out there like everyone else but the older i got i was like you know it's not necessary maybe when i get literally everything settled you know and if i have that extra money it's fine to splurge so on christmas or like my birthday or holidays and stuff it's really nice like my parents and my fiance always gets me like really nice things so this is what it looks like it's so cute i don't even want to open it it's so cute I'm gonna pull the ribbon so cute Chanel perfume she told me I don't have this one yet so I guess I don't because she told me I don't have it because she knows she keeps track of which one she gets me and I think my favorite one is like my everyday holy grail perfume is the Chanel chance let me show you it's in like a pink bottle so this is my everyday Chanel perfume like I love this perfume the Chanel chance it smells so good like i love it and it lasts all day long every time i wear this everyone's like what are you wearing like what are you wearing and i'm like oh <laughs> i'm wearing the chanel chance you know but like i literally don't wear it every day because i don't go out every day why wait, why the hell would i spray like a hundred dollar perfume on my body when i'm just at home are you crazy you got money i don't chance this is the only one that i've been using so i'm a little confused this one says chanel chance as well but this one is in the green like the green liquid and this is the pink liquid you see so what would i call this one is it still chanel chance but green and then when i tell people that i like chanel chanel chance but pink i don't know girl this is too bougie for me this is why i don't buy it but i'm very grateful my mom i don't have this yet she's right i don't know how it smells let me see Ooh, it's very refreshing so for this one it's like very feminine but like bougie feminine you know but this is like bougie fresh I don't know i'm terrible but it smells really nice i really like it do i like it as much as my original one probably not but this still smells amazing i really like it it's nice i get to add something to my collection so shout out to you thanks mom so i took you guys off the tripod i'm just gonna film for like a little bit more before i go to rest up a little bit more i do have clients tomorrow so i have to rest i'm not sure if i updated you guys but i do have a nose piercing it's right there it's so cute i'm sorry for all my acne i have a little mustache but yeah it's so cute uh, it's actually the only thing that's bothering me about it is um it's silver and i don't like silver as you know like i'm a gold girl all my jewelry are gold i don't like silver at all so i'm waiting six months to be able to change it if not then i'm going to see if i can just like change the top of it like gold or have my piercer order me like a gold jewel um with a diamond on it i think i will like that a lot more and i feel like gold complements my skin a lot better so yeah um that's what i'm gonna do i have some presents to wrap i'm probably gonna get that over with um maybe hang out with the girls for a little bit i think i'm gonna do that tonight because tomorrow i'm going to be working and i have to clean up my work room it's a freaking mess because i've been wrapping presents and stuff so i've been like saving days where i just wrap presents and not have clients come in because if clients come in then i have to like literally clean up put everything away and then when i want to wrap i have to do it again um yeah so i haven't been filming so i wanted to film a short 
video. I don't even know if it's short. I talk a lot, so it's probably not even short. I wanted to film like a video for you guys, updating you guys, and that I'm doing well. You know, I hope you're doing well as well. And I will catch you on my next video. Okay, take care. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.